Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is another video, another tech tip, another video on a Microsoft Access and in this video, this is going to be short but I thought I'll make a video in which I will um, talk to you about unbound forms, record sets and how to create modules. This is going to be a very interesting video. So please do watch until the end. I know you guys watch until two minutes or three minutes and then switch it off. That disturbs my algorithms and YouTube algorithms and YouTube don't recommend the video. So if you clicked on this video, thank you very much. First of all, I can assure you that you will learn something. So please watch until the end. Okay, by the end of this video, you will learn how to use a VBA for the unbound form, how to create record and save record in the database. Number two, you are going to learn on how to create modules and what's the importance of modules, what's the function of modules. So you will learn all of these things. All of these are useful if you are serious in learning about Microsoft Access and, you know, uh, up the ante of your game in terms of uh, being a great developer all right so if you're new to my channel welcome if you are returning welcome back in any case if you haven't subscribed make sure you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video right you can see a, a little form right in front of you right on the screen and this form is basically a sample form uh, to capture the record or to create a record for a product right and uh, we have a table by the way this form is unbound form this is not bound how do i know because you can see right here it says unbound and there is no data record source as well so this is unbound form this is the best practice if you really want to create light forms you know the forms that are quick in responding to the users um, especially when the application is on uh, working on the network that's when these unborn forms really helps. That's that's what I personally experienced as well. And this, whatever information we will feed here, that information will go and sit in a database, a table, uh, which is called products T. And we are going to bring the information from the form to the table using the record sets. All right. And then later at the end of this video, I'm going to show you why modules are important and that for that you have to stick around all right so let's go to the product form and uh, i'll click on save button i'll go to the event tab and we'll go on on click event dot 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 and code builder okay now we are in the vba editor in here we are going to use the record sets and we are going to capture the information from the form to the database itself okay so First of all, let's get started with what is record sets. Now, record sets I have been using, if you have been watching my videos, I have used record sets in the last two series that I've created. And since I get to know them, I really love record sets, right? Because they are very useful when we are creating this application. It's a little bit work for the developer, for sure, for you. and uh, But it has its own benefits as well. That's what I have observed, personally experienced, and based on that, I can claim that also. Right. So how do we use record sets? So to, whenever you are going to use record sets, you have to create a, you have to declare a variable. Now, anytime you declare a variable, you start with dim. All right. And you give a name of that variable. So I'll give a name, simple name like RS. You can give any name, by the way, as a record set. Okay. That's it. We have declared a variable. Now Microsoft Access is shouting back at us and saying, all right, you know, I have uh, created a variable for you. What's, what do you want me to do with it? All right. And what this uh, variable is linked to. Okay. So that means we have to set this variable to something. And that is table where the data is going to sit where the data is going to go and store, right? That's what we are going to refer. Now, set RS equals current TB dot open uh, record sets, okay? And parenthesis open, there's something wrong. I can, I can clearly current TB, there you go. That's how that's how I knew there is something wrong. So that's so I have to you know correct it instead of just keep on going. And whenever you don't see IntelliSense, wherever you should, you know you should just stop, pause, and see what 
mistake you have done it is possible that you have skipped a letter so i skipped a letter here and it didn't pick it up so that's how i knew and you will learn that as well with the passage of time all right so current db dot open record set parenthesis open and uh, we are going to give a name of the table where the data is going to be stored and that table is called ladies and gentlemen products t okay so we uh, say double quote double quote in between double quote double quote we say products t all right now there are a couple of uh, additional information that we have to give but not in this case we because the record sets can be used to perform the current operation so if you have to edit record modify record update record delete record you have to give these uh, types and options as an additional information but here we are adding a new record so you don't need to actually give additional information so just close the parenthesis that's it job done all right now we have declared the variable we have uh, told microsoft access what this rs variable equals to now x, x is asking okay great i know now now tell me what should i do with it right now access is shouting back at us <laughs> so we have to tell access hey calm down we'll tell you what you need to do so what we need to do is we need to add record right so we'll say rs dot add new okay and whenever we open like it's it's like a if and end if right whenever you open the statement with if you must close with and if otherwise you'll get an error okay similarly here whenever you open with rs dot add new you close that with rs dot update so you know you update the record in the record set which is table in this case so i'm going to go to design view you will know in a, in a moment why and i go i come back so we'll be you'll be actually shuffling a lot between these views okay so just get ready with that all right now we need to tell microsoft access that uh, hey access is asking okay now i know i need to add a record i need to update a record in the table in the database now tell me what record from which form i should take the information and where should i throw and save that information that's what access is asking us now we need to tell access and how do we tell access we'll say all right rs code because id id is the auto number we we're not going to give a dedicated number to it it will automatically count and put a sequence uh, to that where we'll start we'll start with the code so we'll say rs exclamation mark code equals me dot code you must be thinking hang on hang on what has happened well it's quite easy right so with this line of code what's happening i'll tell you uh, with this line of code what microsoft access is doing is taking the information whatever code you have input here whatever input you have given here it is taking that information and it is taking to products table specifically in the code field okay that's what it is doing so rather than me typing uh, one by one i'll just control c control v control v control v and i think one more time control v all right so now you go one by one product you repeat the same here with the product and then you go to make and you paste here everything else to the same right and uh, that's the beauty of uh, copy pasting but if you are learning i would strongly encourage that not to do the copy and paste you must type in by yourself so you will know how to do it all right we're done with that okay now every time you open a record set which mean every time you open a table although in the background but you see, you have to close it right because other people need to open and update and add and edit and delete whatsoever so how do we close the table that we we don't even see it's very easy so you say rs dot close that's it and you say set rs equals nothing that's a proper close now we throw a message box to the user to confirm that hey whatever you have done it is done okay it's a confirmed it's done so it said do cmd dot beep and we throw a message box says the product okay has been created you can do a lot of creative you can bring a lot of creative in your message boxes as well uh that tells me that gives me an idea maybe i make another video in which you know i bring some uh another dedicated video only for the message boxes i'll do that let me in the comments below if you're interested okay then i will uh, make it otherwise i will not <laughs> it's quite easy so we give the title and there you go our code is done we just compile it there's no error nothing whatsoever we close the table and it's time to do the testing well, let's go ahead and do the testing in the form we will go 
and of course as i said id field is not necessary to give because it's an auto number we just give a code so for example we give a code uh, right a977 9 i'm just giving a random code product let's say iphone 15 max pro good isn't it <laughs> and the make is apple model is uh, let's say 15 mp max pro right not megapixel at max pro price let's say how much is that i think it's 1100 something close to that anyway so uh, set dummy information i have uh, given the input to the form it's not yet gone to the database to the table right here because i have not clicked the save button yet so this is the test time if our code is correct this will save the information a pop-up message box will open hey it's done and we should be able to see that this information into this table all right are you ready let's hit save and we got the first step of the test is completed and we have passed the product has been created we click ok there is no error whatsoever that's the good news so let's go ahead and database and see if i double click and there you go there is a record which we have created just now and so this is how you use record sets and you actually you know use them to create the information edit the information update the information delete the information even from the database and this is the uh, code that is used to create a information and save it in the database table now what if i tell you that you can perform the all these tasks whatever you have, we have done uh, with one line of code would you believe me <laughs> yeah of course you will because i'm going to demonstrate right this is where modules comes in and uh, the modules are really handy it's a, it's a great feature in microsoft access basically the idea is that you take all of your code and you keep that code somewhere within the application but it's separate right it's like a separate bucket of all the code that you can have for all the forms reports all the buttons all the operations that you want to perform you can have all of that code in a module that is considered as a separate you know we we call it i call it bucket right um, so everything we throw in that bucket and we call it whenever we need it another benefit of uh, using module is that you can use uh, that code uh, f multiple times in various other forms for example i'm creating a report which is similar for the products i can use the similar code block for that report i've done that and i don't know how much i'm making sense right now because honestly speaking i have not studied it uh, however i have learned by doing it practicing it watching other videos and now i can you know i can say fairly i can create a function in a module and that's why i'm demonstrating so if i if i have um, explained something which uh, which is not making sense i apologize for that uh, i try to stick with whatever i know right and anyway so in a nutshell modules are very beneficial now how to create those modules right that's the question so go to create and there's a section in the last called macros and code and in here on the top we have a module so click here it looks like a vb editor normal right but it's a module now let's do one thing first we save that module so control s and now it is asking hey do you want to save i say yes and it is asking what name you want to give or i always give a name global mod so mod is a short form of module and global mod is the module which you know we can store a lot of code in as i explained earlier and let me demonstrate how to do that so we click ok and our module is created now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to save button dot 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 and i'm going to select all of this code all the code and i'm going to make it control x delete it. now we will perform this similar operation with one line of code and i'm just stick with me all right i'm going to explain you how to do that now we go to the you can see that there's a module created right here in the explorer and we double click and we get into the module and in the modules whenever you want to because as i said you can have all of your code applications code essentially in these modules and so you have to give name you have to create functions for everything that you want to do you want to create you want to update you want to delete it's good idea that you create functions and those functions have to be public not private you have to declare them as a public function like i'm going to do so i'm going to give a name public 
function and well, let's give a name uh, create record right and hit enter now I've created function let's save it now whatever I've copied from the form I just paste in here all right now I have to do a little bit of modification and that is here right me dot code me dot product me dot make why because me actually because first the code was behind the actual form so that's why we can refer to all these uh, text boxes from by typing me dot right now the code resides within the application but somewhere else that means we have to refer to forms okay now, how do we refer to form it's quite easy forms exclamation mark oops exclamation mark and uh, the name of the form products f okay and exclamation mark all right now let me copy this let me modify me dot so wherever me dot is we just keep pasting there and rest everything else remains same and that's it done okay now debug it save it it's better to test and we should and we must let's uh now the question is how do we call this right literally we have to call so we go to select the button we go to the event tab on click event dot 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 code builder and we come here and we say all right here you must we must declare or we must call so we'll say literally we'll say call and we'll say global mod this is the module name dot and there you go whatever functions you will create if you create 5 10 100 functions you will see those functions here in the intelligence so it's a really good feature so you at the moment it's one function so we just double click and we select create record function save that debug it compile it now it's only one line one line of code right we'll perform the same task with one line of code it's much cleaner it's much better all right let's let's go and test it before i get into more praise <laughs> so this time we'll uh, we'll do the product code will be like s0087 something like that so product is samsung galaxy note 15 i don't know i'm just making it i don't know whether note 15 exists or not make is samsung and uh, the product code is galaxy note 15 gn15 and the price it's also similar to iphone price i don't know but i'm just making a guess all right one two five zero let's say now if our code is correct if our module is correct if our function is correct if we have called it correctly then we should have similar text message box and the record should be created so let's test it out let's click on save there you go the product has been created so you click ok now there's no error whatsoever so let's uh, confirm in the database whether the data has been created so double click on products and there you go right so you can see that behind the form it's just one line right so go to dot 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 it's just one line it's more cleaner more lighter for the forms because you have all those functions and some forms have crazy number of lines of code you can keep all of that code in the modules you can keep declaring the functions creating the functions and uh, you can achieve the similar operation i really like this i don't know about you but i really like these classes and modules because they are like uh, separate buckets uh, within the application and we uh, the entire code essentially resides there and we call that code whenever we need it it's fantastic you know uh, i really hope that you have learned something um, if you have and if you like whatever you have seen make sure you hit the like button okay and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe also and hit the bell icon so you get notification it's free it's free subscribe go ahead <laughs> all right anyway that's it uh, let me know in the comments below also did you learn something did you know did you know it before or not let me know right anyway thank you very much and i will see you in the next one